a traveler and a Paimon? We were just talking about you. This is more serendipitous than finding Mora after face planting on the road. <laughs> it's been too long. I'll bet you have some thrilling new tales from your journey to fill me in on. I can see it in your eyes. Excellent! <laughs> I knew I could count on you. What were you talking about before we got here? Something fun? Or oh, something delicious? <laughs> we were talking about one certain traveler and how two's company but three's a crowd as the inseparable duo tore around to that, making four friends here and five more there, often at sixes and sevens as they brave the lakes and seas, collecting pieces of eight and countless other treasures. <laughs> they clearly must have nine lives. Wink, wink. Let's hope they have less than ten deaths. What the? It just gets worse and worse. Shortly, you may attend a grand banquet at Stonegate. All will be dressed to the nines for majestic food and fine wines. And after eight long drinks and seven shorts, they'll each write six lines five times. You've been to all four corners of the world, so in three short seconds, can you guess from these two stanzas of one speech each what this event is about? Correct! It's a poetry gala, and Mondstadt and Liyue are hosting it together. Do you still remember the promise I made to the distinguished director who here during the Lantern Rite? Oh, something about writing poetry together? That's right. At the dinner table that night, I just knew this young bard was a rare talent with exceptional taste. You know, it's rare to encounter such a kindred spirit. And now... I finally seized the chance to collaborate. It took me much trekking across the land to petition Eugene Terrace and contact the Knights of Favonius, but eventually, in the spirit of friendship and poetry sharing, I managed to successfully organize the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala. Bit of a weird name. Lewa's poetry is known far and wide, and Mondstadt is the city of wine and song. With two nations teaming up, it'll be double the fun and a great chance for people from both places to get to know one another. Hu Tao and I will be the co-hosts for this poetry gala. Of course, I haven't studied the various forms and formalities of Liyue poetry for very long, so please forgive my dreadful performance just now. Not at all, Venti. You followed my lead most excellently. <laughs> you flatter me. Well, this sounds like fun. Let's get involved! You'll be amazing! Remember that time in Liyue when Paimon gave you the first half of a couplet? Wind rises, winds never churn. You came up with the second half right away! Oh, looks like someone's got a knack for this. Perhaps we'll have to raise the difficulty a little. Alright, so basically you guys are here to discuss the activities for the poetry gala, right? Oh, looks like little Paimon's brain has gained a wrinkle or two. You guessed it so effortlessly, but... You still guessed it wrong. Huh? Wait, Paimon guessed wrong? We came here hoping to invite a special guest. I already told you, I'm not going. Never having penned a verse myself, how could I hope to judge the poetry of others? Besides, afflicted with karma as I am, the raucous atmosphere you are cultivating is precisely the kind which I must avoid, as you well know. Hey now, there's a first time for everything, right? We all start from itsy bitsy spider, but give it a shot and you'll be wandering lonely as a cloud in no time. And you don't even have to join us in person if you really don't want to. You can just watch the party from a nearby mountaintop and, uh, cheer us on. But at least head down and take a look first. It's right by the inn, and there's plenty of fun activities to get involved with. It can't hurt to take a quick walk and check things out. Besides, with the renowned traveler here, what is there to fear? <sighs> 
I'll consider it. It's nearly time. Why don't you all head to the venue and take a look around? Quite a few of your friends should have arrived by now. Yes, that's right. Venti and I still need to discuss the poem for the opening ceremony. So, uh, we'll catch up with you later. <sighs> Plus, our adeptus friend might need a bit more convincing. Uh, we'll see if we can coax you down. Gotcha! We'll be on our way then! How about that for an opening? Yes, yes, I like it. But if we could give it a bit more oomph, it would be even better. I think we should lead with a bang, dip into a slippity slide, then whoosh into a whoop whoop boom! Got it? Got it. <laughs> Completely understood. <laughs> 